Need a really quick solution for building with Electron in Vue.js? Stay tuned. Today I'm here with the best and easiest solution for creating desktop applications with Electron and Vue. I've found three tools to do this task. This one is not maintained anymore, and it's a bit opinionated. This one is really good, packed with features too, but it's bloated and way too complicated, we're going with this one. Vue Electro is really simple, lightweight and effective while having all the features we need, you can have a look at the documentation on npm or github, I'll leave a link in the description, let's not waste more time and dive right into it. Make sure you have Node and NPM installed, then we need to have Vue CLI installed before everything. I'm gonna open up VS Code and install Vue CLI as a global package. It'll take just a few seconds for this to complete. Once that's completed, you can start using the Vue command from anywhere. Let's create a Vue project named Electron App. I'm gonna go with the Vue 3 preset. This will create a new Vue 3 project with the scaffolding code. Ok now let's open up our new project in VS Code. As you can see you already have build commands for the Vue app. Ok now let's go ahead and install Vue Electro as a dev dependency. Now we need to initialize our project as a Vue Electro project. Unfortunately as you can see, we cannot call locally installed CLI tools directly from PowerShell, so I will use npx in this moment to do Vue Electro in it. The process will ask you to select an Electron version, I'll go with the latest version, wait for it to download and install everything you need. That's it, now you're ready to build your Electron in Vue application, how easy was that? Let's take a look at our project. As you can see, we have this new set of scripts and dependencies that will help you with development. You also have this Vue Electro config file to configure Vue Electro to your needs. All you need to know about it is available right here as comments. No need to go through huge documentations. We also got this new Electron main file which will be the main process for Electron. It's already set up with basic needs. Let's try our app with the Electron serve command shall we? Look at that, we already have a working view app on Electron. And here we already have pre-set up working Vue dev tools, so convenient. Let's quickly try some Electron functionality as a test. What's better than IPC when it comes to Electron right? Let's receive a message from the renderer and log something out when it's received. To send that. Let's open up Hello World View component and write the IPC renderer part as a click event to this H1 element. We need to have IPC renderer imported first. I'll use View Composition API to quickly create a function to bind to the click event. Let's name it Contact Main. Inside that, we'll simply send the corresponding message to main process. And now we'll bind the click event. Oops, I forgot to return the function to template. Ok now we're good to go. Electron serve again. Now let's try our click event on that title. Look at that, works as intended. simple as that now only one thing left to test building the application for production let's use electron build command for that 
it'll download a few things only the first time you're building your app. And we're done, let's go check out our result inside the dist electron directory. Here you have an installer for your app, we'll try the unpacked version. It works. Now let's try the IPC functionality we wrote. I'll run our exe file using the terminal for that. Voila, it works perfectly. That's it. Just two things before you go and try it. View Electro is production ready. As you can see your files are obfuscated. You can improve the obfuscation more using the view electro config file. Other thing is when you're using electron serve, you don't have to restart the app every time you make a change. It supports hot reloading just like a normal view project. Let's try changing this title on the fly. The change is reflected as soon as I save the file. Easy as that. Happy coding. That's it for this video people. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a comment. You can ask for more tutorials and questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cool videos like this. Subscribers also can enter future giveaways on Tech Tac. If you liked my video you can support me on Patreon to buy me a coffee so I keep creating more cool videos like this, links are in the description. Ok, see you peeps in the next video, Tech Tech, out.